Today we'll be discussing uh, midpoint or uh, midpoint formula. So if you remember from last class, we discussed distance uh, and uh, by using the distance formula given two endpoints. And what we're doing today is basically finding the halfway mark between these two endpoints. Um, and we'll be using this formula right here, uh, x1 plus x2 divided by 2, um, comma y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Essentially, you're adding your x's and divided by 2, adding your y's and dividing by 2 to find what is truly your midpoint between these ordered pairs. So, with that being said, we can go ahead and um, solve for these two, or for, solve for the midpoint for these ordered pairs. So, if you feel a bit, just a little bit uncomfortable when it comes to what you need to uh, put in, you can certainly label those ordered pairs. So what we have here is x1, x2, negative 2, plus 2, divide by 2, comma, your y1, 2, negative 3, divided by 2, so you, at the end, you are going to have an ordered pair. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. 0 divided by 2 is 0. 2 uh, minus 3 divided by 2 is a negative 0.5. So what we found out is our midpoint. Our midpoint lands, and it should be pretty close here, right about here. Okay. So between these two endpoints, A and B, we have our midpoint. So this brings up another scenario. In this scenario, we have an endpoint, uh, we have a midpoint, but we do not have the other endpoint, which is, we can assume it would be right around there. Um, now we have to use the formula, and there are multiple ways to do this, but our formula can help us out here. All we have to do is kind of split this up. Again, this will tell our x value for our midpoint, this tells our y value for our midpoint, so let's go ahead and use that to our advantage. So the midpoint, uh, the x value of your midpoint is derived by this. All right, and the y value for your midpoint is gotten by this. Okay, so all we have to do is kind of use these to our advantage. So again, this would be our m of x, or uh, x value for our midpoint, y value for a midpoint, we can say x1 and y1. So let's go ahead and plug those in. So our midpoint for x value would end up being 2, x1 would be negative 1, we do not know this value, our other endpoint. Let's go ahead and do the same thing here. y value for our midpoint would be 3, 4, we do not know the other endpoint. Okay, so let's clean this up a bit. So we just got the um, other endpoint um, given our two ordered points here. So our endpoint is located at 5, 2. 1, 2, 3, 5, and 2. Okay, which makes sense. All right, so in this uh, example, we are we have P, Q, R, and S, which is missing an ordered point. They're vertices of a parallelogram. What we're um, given uh, to look for is the midpoint of the diagonal P, R, and the coordinates of S. So remember, when you do these problems, you first thing you should do is to draw um, a picture of this parallel. Okay, so we do have the points P, Q, and R. I just want to uh, mention when, I, when we say midpoint of diagonal P, R, here is what we mean. Okay, when we say diagonal of a parallelogram, that is our diagonal, and here is our other diagonal. What actually happens is when these diagonals intersect, they do bisect um, each other. Or in this case, when we say bisect, they do uh, create a midpoint for each diagonal. 
All right, so I have um, gotten the midpoint of one and zero. I, again, that's the midpoint of the diagonal PR. So if we go ahead and make that diagonal, should come relatively close to one and zero. Okay, so at this point, again, we have gotten the diagonal of our midpoint. Um, S would end up being right about right over here. All right, so do remember, um, the diagonals of a parallelogram, they do share a midpoint, okay? So uh, the midpoint of PR is one zero. Well, guess what? The midpoint of QS is also one zero. So like we said earlier, if given the midpoint and an endpoint, we can end up finding the other endpoint, okay? So some of these characteristics of a parallelogram, um, you do have to know. All right, so like we said earlier, we have an endpoint, a midpoint, we can use our formula to our advantage, okay? So that's what I've basically done uh, from here on out. Um, using my midpoint to my advantage, the other, this endpoint, as my x1 and y1 values, I end up getting seven and negative, actually I should get negative seven, a negative seven and negative six, okay? So negative seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so this is our S value.